Good morning, I'm Mark Calloway, Application Engineer for Man and Machine, and today I'm going to show you how to install AutoCAD 2020. So I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded the installation file for AutoCAD 2020, a link which you can find in the description of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click on this file. And this is going to launch the Autodesk installation window. It's going to take a couple of seconds to get going on my machine. Okay, so the installation files are now asking me for a location on the computer that it can extract this compressed file to. Uh, the default location is an Autest folder on your C drive. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK to that. Um, and the extraction wizard is going to work its way through all the files now. We can see that, that happening there. Uh, it looks like it's going to take about 30 seconds. This is obviously going to change... Um, based on the speed of your computer. It might be faster for some people. If you've got a powerful desktop computer, it might be a, a bit slower for, for other users. Um, we can see here that there's about 3.5 gigabytes worth of data. So again, please make sure that you do have enough disk space on your computer, not only to install AutoCAD, but also for the installation files to be extracted into. Um, so I would recommend a minimum of at least 10 gigabytes worth of free space on your computer. Okay, so the self-extraction has now finished and we've got the main installation window. Um, if I wanted to roll this out onto multiple computers, I might want to create a deployment somewhere on my network. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to click the install button and just install a singular instance of AutoCAD 2020 on my computer. I'm going to accept the license agreement. Click next. Let's have a look at what options we have in here. Um, so as well as installing AutoCAD 2020, um, if you've not already um, got the Autodesk App Manager installed on your computer, that's going to install that there. I would highly recommend you have that. Um, it's quite a useful tool for making sure that your OSS products stay up to date. Um, looking through this, I'm just going to go with the default options. I'm going to minimise this. Um, check the installation path, which I'm happy with. Make sure I've got enough disk space on my computer, which I do have, and I'm going to click the install button. So this has now started the installation of AutoCAD 2020. Uh, the first thing the installation is going to do is put any prerequisites on there. So as we can see, it's updating the .NET framework on my computer. Uh, it's probably also going to install uh, Microsoft C++ and a few other things. Uh, we can see down here, out of all the possible installations that it needs to do for all the updates including AutoCAD 2020 that gives you this 16 number uh, you can see it's fairly quickly going through um, the installations here we've got the overall progress bar and um, for everything um, and up at the top here we've got the progress bar uh, for the singular instance of whatever component it's installing and we can see the component that's being installed here on the left so I'm not going to make you sit here and, and watch this bar go from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand screen. So I'm going to use a bit of video magic and we're going to skip to the end. Okay, so the installation of AutoCAD 2020 has now finished. Um, it took probably about 6-7 minutes for that to go through. Um, we can see that it was successfully installed. Uh, we can see the components that were installed. Um, all that's left to do now is click the finish button. Um, I do need to reboot my computer, um, I'm just going to click no to that because I am making this video. Um, and we can see that AutoCAD has now placed an icon on the desktop for AutoCAD 2020. Uh, so all that remains is for me to reboot my computer um, and to launch AutoCAD 2020. Thank you for watching.